Hello and welcome to Scrapping on the Fly. My name is Kristen and this is Around the World in 30 Days. I hop started so that we could document all of our travels. So I have already sh um, taken you on a trip to Walmart in Shalote, North Carolina. I've taken you to the Silver Hill Grill trailer in Holden Beach, North Carolina. And now I'm going to take you all to Spain around the dinner table at my mother's house. Um, so, uh, you can tell that my layout is completed, um, and it's not because I didn't hit record, it's because I created the layout when I was just kind of fiddling around and, um, playing with one of my favorite collections, and after I got done, I thought, oh, you know, I could have done this for, um, Around the World in 30 Days. I mean, we were having snacks from Universal Yum from Spain, and we had food that we, I made from that is a Spanish um, recipe. And so I thought, you know, I should have done that. And then I just decided because it had been a really exhausting week. I started a new job this week. I just decided that I would do a layout share and talk about the process. And so that's what I'm doing because I really do love the way this turned out. And it's not going to be too hard to explain. I mean, it's mostly a bunch of layering and then embellishments were just shoved and tucked and stuck places. It made me happy. Um, so I was really, really excited about the way this turned out. This is the Obed Marshall Buenos Dias collection. And if you've watched very many of my videos, you've got to already know that I love Obed Marshall and I love the Buenos Dias collection. Every time I see it, I buy it places. I mean, it's bad, you all. I'll never ever be out of this collection, I don't think, because I still have like a brand new stash. Like I just bought this. It's crazy. But anyway, it's fine because I love it. I find it versatile. So anyway, I used chipboard. I used puffy. I used enamel shapes. I used, oh, I'm sharing that. That's all I have left of 2019. Um, with these two pictures and those, um, which will add up to four more layouts. Oh, how exciting you all. Okay. Anyway, um, so I used stickers. I used ephemera, chipboard, um, puffy enamel shapes, and, um, at least one acrylic. And then some of the, um, cutouts. I think I even used a cut apart somewhere on here. I mean, like, really? So I matted my pictures in this right here, the backing from my packaging. Like, for real, you all. The only thing I used on here that was of paper, where paper is concerned, is that background paper. Other than that, everything was scraps or the packaging from something. And then I was just sharing that I finished, finally finished my chipboard. And I put that shirt on there. It has nothing to do with any anything on this layout. We are all wearing shirts, if that counts for anything. But it doesn't have anything to do with it. But I love this paper because the paper had things like travel, memories, together. I really felt like that was super fitting. I love the colors. So this is my family and some friends sitting around the table having snacks. And that just really fit. So... I matted both pictures on packaging, cut them down just a little, and then tucked the scraps that I had that I felt looked best um, all behind there. So there's some yellow strips that are either full length strips or partial strips that I um, overlapped with each other to make them look like two full strips. Um, that yellow piece coming up over on the left is like a small, I don't know, four by four or four by five and then that little strip above the picture on the right is literally just like a branding strip size. But I made it look like it was a full mat on that picture because I've tucked all that ephemera around. So the stickers I used are that globe and I think there's like a flower. Oh, there's a soda pop bottle over there on the left. And then I used some uh, a label right down there at the bottom of the picture. And then I have some um, ephemera. The florals are all ephemera. That little circle that says fun is an ephemera. I wanted to have a circle in each of those little clusters. So the florals already have little circles in the center. Um, so I have that fun and the globe. There's another little globe. Oh, it's my favorite. And then I put a little um, circular embellishment down there in the bottom as well. 
So I enjoy bringing that around. And then this frame is so cute. And I love when people put frames like this over pictures and it's not covering the whole picture. I think that is so neat, but typically I'm scrapbooking people and I don't want to like cut somebody off, but I was scrapbooking a skillet full of paella. So I was okay with putting this frame here and cutting the paella in half. <laughs> so I just thought that looked really fun. I really enjoyed it. I added a little yellow arrow acrylic down there on the part at the bottom pointing to my family. I, I'm not kidding you all. I really just love the way this turned out. Um, I used a couple of cut aparts over there that have like little things that say, um, I love all of this. Um, and then, like I said, that one up at the top says fun. There's some acrylics, that little globe over on the left and two little hearts in the bottom and in the top. Um, and then I've just got little this and that's from the sticker sheets and stuff. One of that little, uh, set, uh, tag says familia, um, I just really, really enjoyed this layout. So I am hopefully going to do a video process video for tomorrow, um, for Thursday. And then I also, tomorrow is the hop to celebrate my 500 subscribers celebration. I'm so excited and I'm so grateful for you all who have subscribed and for you all who watch the videos, I would love for you to subscribe. That would be awesome. But I just appreciate you all being here because I find so much joy and mental health and scrapbooking. Whether it's the good stuff, the bad stuff, the boring stuff, the regular day-by-day -day stuff. I just find so much joy in the um, creative outlet. Because this is the only creative outlet I have, you all. I cannot draw or paint. I can't none of that. So this is my mental health for sure. And so I appreciate you all coming on this adventure with me and it means so much and I am so grateful um, for it. So um, I'm going to show you some close-ups of this layout and then tomorrow I'll have two videos at least that'll go up. One will be for um, around the world in 30 days, an actual process video, you all, I promise. And then the other one will be celebrating my 500 subscribers and I'll scrap with myself, which is going to be something interesting. I don't think I've done before, at least not intentionally. So we'll see how that goes. Um, I have no clue what I'm going to scrapbook, but it'll probably be one of the pictures I have left over for 2019 because my favorite picture is left. Well, one of my favorite pictures. I say that a lot. So anyway, I'm going to show you all the close-ups. So I hope you all will go down below and follow along with all the awesome creatives who are doing the, um, around the world in 30 days. It is so much fun to find ways to, um, bring a travel ish kind of picture together. Um, look at all those puffies, those little puffy glasses are so cute. Um, and then that world, that little world is what I adore so very much. It's my favorite and I finally decided I was going to use it. Um, and then there's some more chipboard and some cut. Oh, that's the cut apart, the little luggage. I, I knew I had done a cut apart that I fussy cut out. So anyway, there it is. And I hope you all will come back again. Like I said, go check out all the awesome creatives below and I will see you very soon. Have a great day and happy scrapping.